If you're looking for a new job, maybe you're looking to shift into a new career field, one of the best places to work in West Bloomfield Township and in the greater West Bloomfield area is with our local West Bloomfield Police Department. They've been out and about all throughout southeastern Michigan seeking new job seekers to join their rank and file at the West Bloomfield PD right next door. Joining us to talk about their hiring efforts is one of their newly minted lieutenants, Todd Metcalf, with us on the Splash Live. Lieutenant Metcalf, thank you for being with us today, and congratulations on the promotion. Hey, good morning, Ty. Thank you very much for having me. appreciate it. Yeah, glad to have you on as uh, the police department it has uh, recently been out to Washtenaw Community College to discuss career opportunities. We also know that you've been on a number of other uh, colleges and universities and community colleges all throughout Michigan and around the region. What is the police department looking for at this time in terms of potential new employees? Well, you know, we're always accepting applications. Um, so, you know, if you're interested, uh, obviously reach into Tom Hall, look in the website. Um, our qualifications are there. Um, right now we have 74 sworn officers. Uh, we're slated for 82. Um, since I've been here, we've never really been fully staffed, obviously, with retirements and health concerns and stuff of that nature. Um, you know, but we try to get to the 82 mark as best we can. But um, right now we have, um, you know, dispatcher positions open. We have an excellent dispatch center that was just uh, re uh, uh built uh, and we just had a renovation completed we're about 99.9 percent .9 done with that and we have an excellent uh, public safety uh, program here with a very uh, reasonable hourly rate and that is an excellent position to um uh, to see if you want law enforcement that's in charge of uh, prisoners and non-suspect reports and stuff of that nature so um there's a lot of opportunities we're always accepting applications by all means if you're interested um the basic need right now is you need an associate's degree of some sort whether it's a General education or uh, business law, but to get an associate's degree to be a police officer here. And, and as we see on the screen, uh, or we just, just saw up on the screen with you there, there's a number of different potential opportunities if you become an officer with the police department to get specialized training and move into a variety of different units uh, beyond and including patrol. And uh, that's that's kind of unique to West Bloomfield and other neighboring police departments. They have so much variety of different opportunities that are available. Absolutely. I have been here for uh, 25 plus years. Um, you know, one of the benefits of being a West Bloomfield police officer, uh, first and foremost, is the community. I've been very fortunate here. Um, the, the community has been outstanding. Uh, driving down the road, uh, people wave. Uh, you drive through subdivisions, they stop and talk to you. So that's one of the biggest benefits of our agency. And second, like you did mention, we have a lot of opportunity. Um, I always like to say that our agency is large enough where you get to explore different avenues of law enforcement, um, on loan to them, um, and different avenues. So you definitely can spread your wings in this line of work and um, try different avenues that you know would would uh, you know you're interested in. Um, we have a fully funded pension, and um, still, so that's that's really good. And um, the township supervisors and the officials just graciously uh, increased our wages. And uh, so we're very comparable. And um, yeah, so I am a little biased. I have been here my whole career. So um, it's a great place to work. And, and you mentioned the community support that, you know, the, the, so much emphasis recently in, in, uh, in the past several years has been put on uh, police officers, police departments, taking more of a community policing approach, getting out in the community, knowing the residents that they're serving, the areas that they're patrolling in. It's got to be beneficial to be learning the job, to be growing in the job in law enforcement. When you're in a community like West Bloomfield that has such strong support and shows that support for their local police. Absolutely. Uh, we have been community policing oriented for since I have been here. Um, there's never, never been a lot of stress on, um, obviously we have to enforce the laws and you know traffic violations of you know and stuff of that nature. There's never been a lot of pressure on us to go out there and sit in spots and, and, and write a ton of violations. We are more oriented, uh, the chief of police wants us, our uh, response time to be uh, very quick to calls of service and to the community. So um, that's that's where we're at right now. We've been there like that for a long time. So, 
<laughs> More information can be found on their Facebook page at West Bloomfield PD, as well as on wbtownship.org slash jobs for more information on open positions with the West Bloomfield Police Department and, of course, to apply. Joining us on the program is Lieutenant Todd Metcalf from the West Bloomfield Police Department. As we mentioned earlier on, looking for a number of different uh, of different positions all throughout the department, not just officers, but dispatchers and, and office workers as well, who also play a really critical role, and, let, and especially those dispatchers. I want to talk about that because knowing from seeing some of the footage from a, a, a story we, we aired earlier on, looking through their communications department there, seeing some of the logos of many other law enforcement and public safety departments, our dispatchers aren't just benefiting our police. Oh, you're benefiting our police? I'm uh, sorry, repeat that question one more time. <laughs> oh, I, I was saying that uh, we were talking about the dispatchers and, and seeing uh, in, a, in some footage from over there, knowing uh, some, of the, some of what goes into their line of work. Being a dispatcher, which is a, p a potential job in the police department, too, that you had mentioned earlier on, it's, it's great because it's not just serving our police, but really serving the entirety of our public safety apparatus in our four communities. You know, I've always said, uh, and I, I oversee the dispatch center right now, and I, I've always said that uh, it is probably the hardest position, one of the hardest positions in law enforcement. You know, you have civilian employees in there that are answering tons of legal questions, and 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 people are calling at the worst time of their lives. Uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of um, um, crisis going on. So they are responsible for a lot of knowledge. So it's a very um, rewarding job. And um, like I said, we had just renovated the dispatch, and it's a beautiful center right now. A lot of high-tech updated equipment, and um, it's um, an excellent, excellent place to work in there. Uh, Lieutenant Metcalf, uh, also uh, I, I see in the notes here that there's been some changes and some policies too uh, for uh, protocols with with particularly appearance on the job with uh, the police department recently becoming more open to, to beards and tattoos. And, and why is that important nowadays as you're trying to attract employees but also create a welcoming and friendly work environment? Well, absolutely. Any any job, any place of employment, including yours, you want to be involved with the times. Um, you know, beards and tattoos can provide us with a higher quality. Uh, you know, people for applying, we're going to pursue that. Um, you know, mustaches have always been allowed, so what's a little extra, little extra facial hair? You know, um, when law enforcement first started uh, back in gosh, eighteen hundreds, people wore beards back then. So. You know, beards are coming back, and um, we have no negative feedback on that. People enjoy them, and if the officers, you know, it makes them happier and healthier, you know, the, it serves the community better that way as well. As far as tattoos, you know, uh, we have policy in place for that. Um, no tattoos above the neck. Um, but other than that, you know, everybody's got their own personal story. You know, we're human, and we can humanize ourselves more to show people, like, we have tattoos. I have one. Um, but, you know, they have meaning and they are sentimental, but um, they can't be hateful and they can't be offensive. So that's where our policy is in place. So, yeah, we do have beards and, and, and uh, tattoos and they can be visible to the public. All good stuff from the West Bloomfield Police Department. Hiring for police service aides and their detective bureau, their canine unit, uh, undercover units, uh, uh, dispatchers, and so many other positions. More information can be found on their hiring efforts on their Facebook page, West Bloomfield PD. Lieutenant Metcalf, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much. Take care, guys.